Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising Monthly Tarot reading for January 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to tell you that this is a general reading for Gemini and the resonance of it of which is going to be different on a different level for every single one of us depending on our personal situations now if you want a, a personal reading which your personal situation is going to be discussed just like I am doing with the examples here in this video and uh, which specifically cards are to be drawn to or for uh, this is a, a subject you know again of a personal reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing now <clears throat> this is going to be an enhanced tarot spread which means that we are to pull uh, multiple cards per position and the first position here uh, is going to be about the topic of your month and that is going to be the night of uh, wands followed by the uh, intentions or the best possible course of action we do have the page of cups then uh, the third card that is going to be regarding the challenges which are causing predicaments here and uh, that is going to be the judgment the justice card followed by the Three of Cups which is the Guidance card of Tarot and the last one that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles which is the final outcome. So uh, Geminis we do uh, see here just to um, overall uh, make kind of like a conclusions of the reading just from a first glance before we actually dive into every single position on its own it does look like that you are to um, reshuffle a lot of things in your life kind of like change priorities you know and uh, significantly shape and reshift the way you do things and your uh, your routine as well and your life in general and that will be because either you are going to be determined or you are going to see that a a change is to happen or a change is necessary out there and this month of january is going to be just the foundation that you are placing in order to either make or face that change and to take to seize it with a, a maximum potential that is seen in these three cards here and then at the end we do see how the change manifests itself in a most positive way for you so let's go deeper into the cards the first one which is the knight of wands accompanied by the lover's card just look at that guys i mean that could be everybody knows that the, that the lover's card is about love you know well not every time but i cannot just bypass the um kind of like the chance or the manifestation here that you are to find a, a sweeter right it for example, if you have been long time lonely, you know, this is going to be a month where the chance for you to find sweet or a very passionate and trolling and very, um, how can I place it, versatile, enterprising and etc, etc person. I mean, it's going to be very, very interesting. Now, this thing here looks more like a crush than love, at least at its initial state, all right? But that doesn't mean that the love cannot happen. All right. So what we do have uh, in this car, in in this uh, position, it is mainly a a decision for your behalf to uh, start exploring new horizons and to start exploring new options available for yourself, either for your career or for your personal life. And especially if that is about personal life, we are seeing here person appearing, all right? That is going to be the topic, finding the person that is gonna give you the excitement you require in order to be emotionally and, um, how can I place, passionately fulfilled. I cannot say for the rest of your life, but at least for that moment, you know? But in generally, the lovers card is uh, the lovers the, the card was named lovers a couple of centuries ago, but its initial name of this major arcana six was the choice. So uh, what this combination here points is that you are going to have throughout the months of January numerous options available. It's kind of like 
countless, you know, infinite options available in order to make your life much more exciting and much more thrilling. And from those options available, uh, it is likely that you are to find those kind of uh, enterprises and undertakings which are to work best for you. Now, one thing I want to mention here with this specific combination is that if you find it, if you find the person that you are searching for, or if you find the work that you are searching for as well that you want to work, uh, if you find the right way how to tackle with a certain project and etc., to start pushing into that dire direction straight away, because as much as potent and positive this. Um, combination here is to find a way through all right to find your way through it is also very unstable what i mean is that it could you can burn out for a couple of days you know today you may have that excitement and that enthusiasm and when you wake up tomorrow this could be gone Pfft. It's, it's no longer there. So that's why it's very important to seize the moment. As soon as you find a grasp on it, to seize it and to start pushing into that direction. Now, <clears throat> we have the Page of Cups here falling into the intentional position and that points to re oh man. No, this is about the love. This, this here is about love. I, if it is about career is going to be a, a very petite month but we are talking definitely about love and definitely about uh, improving uh, circum the circumstances into your um into your emotional state and into your private private life so what these cards here are pointing is that new positions are to be adopted a change is going to happen through a an emotional flow a very positive emotional flow very important when we when we have that very important when you find a person for you very important when you want to um, improve your relationship with these cards is to adopt new positions of uh, boosted sharing what I mean is that you should not be uh, too much and yelling about uh, about your criteria and as well, uh, you know about about how you think and in generally, you know about your standpoints here. But instead, you should talk. You should share your experiences, peripheral experiences from your career, from your friendship circle as well, so the people can really or that person that you have faced here at the start of the month somewhere can truly see the true value of your soul that is very important with these cards as soon as you open yourself emotionally towards somebody or toward the world in general you know because yeah this speaks for love all right but not every single one of you is going to have a love situation and that's why the reading the reading resonates differently for different people as it is a general reading but um, <clears throat> These cards here are pointing that you need to emotionally open yourself for the world or in this case for that person that you are to meet throughout the month of January in case you want a relationship or if in case this is a your partner and you just found a, a new amusing way you know to spend time into that relationship again to see that this is the prerequisite the very foundation of the change that you have waited into your relationship and to open yourself emotionally not to mention that these um, that this combo here it's a potent combo for conceiving having child having kid and etc etc so if you and your partner really want to have a child then maybe the month of January is the lucky month for you nonetheless uh, with these cards here it is very uh, it's kind of like it's imperative for you to truly focus yourself on the grand scheme on the bigger picture and what is the bigger picture I want to be happy how I'm going to be happy well that's not very important is it I mean the very uh, end of the goal or the very fact that things are swiping it's changing into that direction it's what is important therefore you should not be stagnated into the minor details for example you are start dating with that person here all right and you kind of like don't approve very much the shoes that he's wearing well who cares you know if that person make you laugh if that person make you feel good and etc etc why you should be a restraint just because of the stupid shoes that he's wearing or the stupid tie or the stupid the stupid coat right so everybody has their taste and you should not have these biased expectations for someone else's 
taste as well. What I mean here again is for you to focus on the grand scheme of things rather than on the minor details and this is what truly is going to allow you to open yourself emotionally toward that person or toward that enterprise here. So then we do have the justice which comes as a, a challenges that are causing predicaments followed by the seven of cups. So uh, <clears throat> this is a, a bit of a difficult combination to be explained and I will try to do it that way. So these cards are, are pointing here that you will have a difficult time to adapt. And under adapting, I mean that that is going to be a, a brand new enterprise, like I said, a change coming and one change cannot be faced with the same circumstances or with the same behavior. In our country, we do have... Um, um, we, we do have a sentence saying that you cannot make a new brothel with the whole with the uh, with the old hookers all right if you if you are to establish a new brothel you got to bring up new hookers therefore here you cannot face the newness with the old standpoints all right that's why you're gonna you're gonna have to shift priorities to reshuffle priorities for example until this very moment your priority was your career well things didn't work out very well with your previous relationship did they so this time around maybe you should consider you know giving a little bit more priority if not the ultimate priority to that new person coming in your life so they can see that yeah work is one thing you know but it is more important for you at that stage to be emotionally successful. Now, one thing I want to add here, if that is about career, then we are talking about a harmony in between you and your co-workers. This is all that this month is talking about, you know, maintaining and adopting harmony in between your co-workers. And that is going to happen through you changing your behavior toward them. That is all that this uh, reading is saying about career but about relationship here you need to consider changing yourself as well because as i said change comes around and with that change one has to change as well and this is going to happen by you shifting priorities or reshuffling them and by the way with the judgment card with the justice card if you are a little bit more dominant when it comes to relationship this card points that it will be difficult for you to kind of maintain the equilibrium into these interactions giving the same uh, rights uh, or uh, the same how can I place it the same responsibilities you know for your partner very uh, or for this new interest new person of interest here very important is to know that one needs to feel uh, how can I place useful for the lack of better term and if you take care for everything of that relationship like scheduling the dating um, making reservations in the restaurants you know and basically be the head of the initiation that may place them in a situation where they will feel like you know like they don't contribute at all in it and uh, the very least this is going to place them in a point where they will feel useless that you can do that with everybody and uh, they may feel kind of uh, like um, not mistreated but undervalued all right and this is the last thing you want so try to be a little bit more compassionate here kind of like uh, tolerant as well but again shuffling of priorities it is what truly can obstruct you from uh, or the lack of reshuffling priorities it's what can truly restrict you from experiencing to its peak this new um, this new enterprise with either your partner that you currently have or with a new person that you are to face so guidance here how this could be done <clears throat> we have the nine of wands with the three of cups First of all, um, uh, these cards actually very positive here and it is exactly saying where 
those changes need to happen and that is how you tackle with, with a, a social circle or your general behavior with the other people. Maybe you are way too open for them and just think about it, when you are way too open with everybody, that, that could make an impression that you are flirting with everybody, you know? Or maybe you are way too close with everybody and if so, that make, um, that make an impression that you are unreachable uh, through an, an emotional standpoint. What these cards here are pointing, guys, is that the more you kind of like, how can I place it? The more sense of independence you are showing, all right, that you can handle yourself. No one questions that, you know, but the more you parade with it, the more, the bigger impression you leave into people that you are safe, self-sustainable, that you don't need anybody. And therefore, uh, that place people that are having you as an interest kind of reluctant and hesitant to approach you with emotional intentions or with, with uh, relationship intentions and etc. etc. These cards, however, are pointing that, um, well, basically, it's your choice. What these cards are pointing is that you should not change anything about your social circle right now, not behavior-wise, but quality-wise, like friends and and etc. etc. And on top of that, you know, as soon as you um, start dating with this person or you uh, again regain the passion into your relationship, you should kind of involve your partner or a person of interest more into your social circle activities like going uh, on a cinema with your friends and that person you know uh, like going how can i place it um like when you are asked to go on a party, you should bring them as well into that party. So these people or that person or your partner here can uh, truly see how you are spending in, uh, your time with your friends and what makes you to have that knack for having good life. So how you actually uh, are used to have fun. I don't know how to explain it really, but uh, what makes you to have fun when you are enjoying yourself so they can create the same circumstances and the same predisposition so you can have fun when you are just two of you and the last card here is pointing to the ten of pentacles a foul followed by the uh, hermit card or uh, the hierophant excuse me and this is just the natural unfoldment afterwards you know things are consolidating things are strengthening we are we are going here just from one um passionate enterprise into something furthering uh, in a long term for the distant future as well. What we do have here, it is that <clears throat> as long as you are uh, as well, how can I place it? Uh, ob objective is not the correct way. Uh, let me explain it that way. These cards are pointing that passion and love and etc etc are good things that you have found either into your current relationship or either with the person that you are to meet throughout January you know but this is not everything. As a matter of fact the true foundation that you are to understand is for a, a long-term relationship. This is the trust and this is also the ability to give space into one another to be together and in the same time to maintain your personal independence as well and this is what these cards are pointing that through the trust that you will start building into one another the personal independence there or the personal lives that you lead outside of that relationship will be uh, will remain intact and through it that relationship is going to consolidate as a uh, let's say o uh, oasis in the desert that you are may facing outside of it and through having and boosting you know that um, how can I place it that trust with uh, with this person you are to find I knew and the true meaning of what love means so for some of you Gemini's this could be the meeting of the true love for others that will be realizing that the true love was all around you uh, uh, 
all the time around you, but you could not see it until you did not reshuffle your priorities. For others, it's going to be just a, a time where you are going to prove to yourself once again that the person you are with is the true love for you, and you will not want to leave them at all. And uh, here it's going to be a shame, you know, if you miss that opportunity, because again, that is a general reading, guys, and it's going to resonate with every one of you in a different level, right? So, um, even though the energies or the general reading is so potent for having this suitor, for having this person of interest, you also need to help it. Go out, date with people, you know, uh, show that you are ready to invite love in the world, um, in your world, excuse me, just like I said here with these cards, show to the world that you are ready to share all your life with someone and that someone is to come. Because if you sit around and you are constantly in your home uh, behind locked doors, no one is going to come and knock on them, all right? It's just, this is how it goes. So that being said, Geminis, this was your monthly tarot reading for January 2018 uh, and 19th, excuse me. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we are going to see each other around in case you are interested in a personal reading. Everything that you need to know is listed down there in the description of this video on my website in which we could, you could uh, see the services that I'm providing and as well their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.